Hello Learn Clarinet Online followers. Today we're going to learn how to use an external USB microphone in Google Meet lessons. So just down there in this corner you can see all the components of my preferred USB microphone that I recommend students use in lessons if they go down the route of using an external microphone. It's called the Audio-Technica AT2020 USB Plus. Not the most memorable name going around, but I prefer it for many reasons. But this isn't a video about microphone specifications, so let's just jump straight into learning how to use it with Google Meet. So first things first, let's just set up the microphone down here. So you have the microphone itself, and you have the base, which is used much like it's just a stand that holds the microphone up. It um, comes with the microphone. It's not the best in the world, but it absolutely does the job. So it's not going to isolate typing sounds very well or bumps into the desk. That's not really. The te your teacher doesn't mind. I certainly don't mind. So just flick out the legs, place on the desk. Episode one of the setup is completely done. Now episode two. This will look a little bit different depending on your computer or laptop that you use. Um, but it just involves connecting the microphone with the USB cable it comes with. This microphone comes with what might look to you like a printer cable. It is often used in printers. It's a USB 2.0 Type-B connector, which goes into, into the microphone. And on the other end is a USB Type-A, the more rectangular connector, which goes into your computer. And here you see the side of my laptop, it has neither of those ports, it has Type-C. So I use a Type-C to three times Type-A adapter. They're pretty cheap, or dongle, they're sometimes, they're often called. They're quite cheap nowadays and very handy because laptops nowadays seem to have fewer and fewer ports on them. Uh, so here I have a webcam attached already, but there's two free ports ready to go. So let's connect the microphone to the computer, starting with the bottom of the microphone. Just make sure you have the cable oriented correctly. So narrow side up, plug it in, put it down on the desk. That's perfectly good. And now the type A side into, in my case, it's a dongle. You, If you do have a type A port free on your laptop, absolutely use that type A port. Let's jump into the Google Meet and see how we can use it in that particular web application. So here we are in Google Meet and let's figure out how we're going to use it. So just navigate down with your mouse or tap if you're on a tablet down to the three dot menu next to the hang up button. Jump into the settings menu and we're just going to be looking at the audio menu here. Over underneath microphone, hopefully you have a shorter list than this. I have a lot of audio devices linked up to my computer. But just try to find the microphone AT2020 USB Plus. Make sure you've selected that one. And now for the speakers, this is where you could get a bit confused. So let me hold your hand. Here we go. Make sure you navigate down to headphones AT2020 USB Plus. So you're going to be using the headphones out of this microphone. This microphone has something called live monitoring, which means that you can hear your own voice and your own playing with no delay straight from the microphone. So select that, we're good to go, hit the X button. And now let's hook up some headphones to the microphone. So now we've got some headphones. You should have some lying around your house. You can use earbuds like the ones that came with um, older iPhones or even older Android phones. You can get them from the supermarket for very little. As long as it has a 3.5 millimeter jack on the end that fits into the back of the microphone, you are absolutely fine. So here we go. Here is the microphone and here is your headphone cable. You're just gonna place the headphone cable into the jack right here. <clears throat> should be perfect. We're done. Now I can hear my own voice very, very clearly because I'm in the Google Meet session. I can hear my voice. If you want to hear more of your voice and less of your teacher's voice, you can use this little knob here that's on the right. And all that does, if you slide it all the way to the right, you don't hear any of yourself and you hear only your teacher and the computer audio sounds. If you slide it all the way to the left, you can just hear your own voice and your own playing and nothing from your teacher or computer sounds. So obviously you want it somewhere in the middle, but you'll find the position where it sounds best and just leave it there. On the other side, you have this knob here and that is just a volume level. That's just a volume knob. Now the preamp in this microphone is, <clears throat> let's say it's a modest preamp. So I just leave it on maximum volume all the time. And that tends to sound best, but your mileage may vary. 
So they place the microphone down on the desk. So now you've placed the microphone down on the desk, just angle it towards you. So the logo, the Audio Technica logo is facing you and the two knobs are either side. And you've set up a USB microphone. Now you're ready for your teacher to have a really high resolution picture of your playing. You can have fine control over um, how loud and soft both you and your teacher are. You've opened the door to home recording and home remote examinations, and you've just really made your life considerably better for a very small investment. So thank you for watching. I hope you find attaching a USB microphone to a computer and using it easy now and not very intimidating. It's really not much harder than using an external webcam. It just involves plugging it in and selecting the correct microphone and speaker options from the settings menu. It's a very similar procedure for Zoom, but this video was just about Google Meet because that's a web app that I tend to use for teaching. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.